One remaining thing that we have to talk about in this particular unit is the topic of soil consistence. Soil consistence is also a physical soil property. It is a property of the soil that we describe utilizing a number of adjectives or terms, but we actually cannot perform a precise physical measurement on the consistence of the soil like we could for soil texture, or like we could for bulk density, or like we also can for porosity. In other words, soil consistence is one of those physical properties that we simply use descriptive terms to describe or define what it is. A basic definition for soil consistence is the ability of the soil to resist deformation when subjected to a pushing or pulling force. Well, really, what does that mean, the ability of the soil to resist being deformed? What we're actually saying is that consistence oftentimes is more of an engineering property. From an engineering standpoint in soils, we use things like penetrability and shear strength to measure the consistence of a particular soil. Well, in agricultural soils, we don't utilize these types of tests, so we simply use a series of terms to describe the consistence of a particular soil. Consistence properties of a soil will vary based upon the moisture content of that particular soil. In other words, if a soil is very wet, one that has recently been saturated, as an example, and, and the free water or, high, or uh, gravitational water has drained out, that would be considered a very wet soil, versus one that is in an intermediate state of moisture, that is one that where the soils appear to be moist, but typically you can't form them together into a ball that will hold together, versus a soil that is uh, dry, and this one, a soil in that moisture condition would basically appear to be air dried or uh, not have any feelable moisture to the touch. Properties, consistence properties of a soil when it is wet are described with the terms the degree of stickiness or plasticity. Stickiness or plasticity is really the moldability of the soil. How able are we to be able to take this soil, mold it into a ball, and get it to hold that shape? If you have a soil which has a very appreciable amount of sand or silt in it and, and a very small amount of clay, then its overall degree of stickiness or plasticity is very low. So it is really the clay portion of the soil that imparts the degree of stickiness or plasticity to that particular soil. Clay-sized particles or secondary clay minerals specifically have a tendency to become very sticky, sticky or plastic when wetted to a high degree of moisture. If you have a soil that is in this intermediate range of moisture, that's where the soil will feel wet or moist, but it won't hold together into a ball, then the consistence of these soils is described utilizing one of three terms. These soils are, from a consistent standpoint, are said to either be loose, friable, and that's F-R-I-A-B-L-E, friable, or firm. If you have a soil which has a loose consistence, this is indicative of one which has a very high content of sand. It causes this soil not to want to be cohesive, not to want to hold together when it's in this moist or intermediate moisture content. If you have a soil that is called friable when in the moist condition, this is more typical of loam, silt loam type soils with, with an appreciable amount of organic matter. They're going to break apart they will form semi-stable aggregates, and these aggregates will break apart uh, in crumbles. You know, they'll crumble apart in, into uh, a crumb type of soil uh, structure at the surface. If you have a soil which is uh, very dry, then those t the terms that are used to describe soils which are in a dry moisture state are loose, soft, and hard. If a soil is loose, this is also indicative of a high sand content when it's in a dry moisture state. If it is soft, these soils have a tendency to want to powder or pulverize when subjected to this pulling or pushing force. In other words, if you take a clod and the soil is very dry, a clod or an aggregate, and the soil is very dry, these soils have a tendency to, to 
powder or pulverized when they're worked or if you take this aggregate or clod and break it between your fingers. It, it basically uh, pulverizes, turns into a very powdery type of soil. And finally, if it is hard, this is indicative of much higher clay content. When aggregates dry and they have a high clay content in them, then we say the consistency of that soil is very hard. That means that these clods or aggregates are extremely difficult to break down because of the high cohesiveness of these clay particles and they're holding them together into a, a structural unit or ped. So how important of a property is soil consistence? Well, realistically, soil consistence is important primarily at the surface of the soil when we're utilizing these from an agricultural standpoint. We want soils at the, at the surface that have been worked in an intermediate moisture content. We want them to be very friable. That's a desirable soil consistency at the surface. In, in relationship to uh, structure, structure and consistency, at least at the surface, kind of go hand in hand with each other. If we work a soil when it's too wet, we end up with very large aggregates or clods. If it has a high clay content, we say it has a very firm consistency. If we work a soil when it's too dry, we have a tendency to get a powdering effect on the soil. The aggregates or clods that would normally be there in the surface uh, pulverize and break down. And we say that this soil has a very soft uh, type of consistency. It, it turns into powder into a very, it, when worked in a dry state. Um, I know in your review questions, I ask you a, a, one of the questions about the uh, importance of consistency and how it relates to uh, soil structure. And what I'm really looking for there is your ability to be able to define or describe these two terms, soil consistency and soil structure. And then I would like, to you, like for you to make an evaluation in terms of which of those do you feel are probably uh, the most important uh, property from a standpoint of uh, agricultural soils. And by agricultural soils, I mean those that are being used uh, for some form of uh, cultivated cropping. 